Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing me, then welcome to my channel. Please hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, I post Monday through Saturday, and please ignore the barking downstairs. That's Daisy. Anyway, today in this video, I'm going to do my top 10 yarns by Karen Simply Soft. For those who don't know, I love Karen Simply Soft. Even though it's a cheap yarn brand, it's still one of my favorite brands next to Red Heart. I use it quite a lot when it comes to knitting. And it's very affordable too. Red Heart's a bit more, the difference is Red Heart's more expensive, even though Red Heart is my favorite brand. Um, Karen Simply Soft is a bit cheaper than Red Heart. Again, please ignore the barking, that's Daisy. And this is like a, probably a great yarn if you're on a budget and you are knitting and you don't have a lot of money. So this, this is a great, great yarn to get. It comes, even though it's a little bit thinner, it's a really good yarn to work with. It's super fun and it makes such soft, great projects. So I'm going to get started. The so number one on my list, and I'm also going to pull up my phone to show you guys the pictures. Number one on my list has to be Neon Pink by Karen Simply Soft. Sorry my phone's are gonna be sorry my phone is going to be pretty slow because the Wi-Fi sometimes at my house sucks. Sorry, my phone is really, really slow. Slow because of the Wi Fi. Um, yeah, so let me see if I can find a picture on my camera because my phone, my Wi Fi on my phone is sucking right now. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going to just go on my computer because. I think it might be easier to just do it, do it on. Now, oh, now it's working, sorry. So here is what it looks like. It's really bright pink. It's a really nice bright pink and I really like it. It's like my favorite color. I've actually knitted a, knitted a few hats with this color and I'd pull them out to show you but I'm not really doing a hat video right now. I'm doing a yarn video. video and I've made sub, two hats with this color. It's like one of my favorite colors. Number two on my list would have to be light pink. I'm really sorry, this video may be kind of long because my phone takes a while to load. Wow, that didn't take too long. Surprisingly, that didn't take too long. So this is the light pink one. This is the one that I kind of have. I hope you can tell. It looks a bit brighter on the camera, but it actually it's not that bright. So I really like this color because I like, I love soft pink. It's like one of my favorite pinks of all time. Pink's like literally my favorite color. Number three on my list would have to be sage. And I actually, fun fact, I actually knitted my mom a hat in this color. Actually it's dark sage, excuse me, not just plain sage. So this is what it looks like. It looks more like a forest green color, which I really like. 
I really like the forest green. I like the dark green it comes out in. And sage, I thought, is more like a blue tone, but this is actually dark sage. I forgot to put dark sage on the list. It's a really nice green. It looks like a forest green, which I really like, and I think that's awesome. Number um, four on my list would have to be lime green. So this is what it looks like. Um, this is probably one of the second um, Karen Simply Soft yarns that I've ever bought. I really enjoy that this color because I like working with bright, really bright colors because it makes it easier for me to see my stitches. Stitches because um, I find it hard sometimes to work with something dark because then I can't see what I'm doing. Doing and um, I love how this stuff feels. It's super soft. Number five on my list would have to be grape. So this is what grape looks like. It is a nice bright purple. I actually bought this grape, this color because I actually thought it was um, periwinkle because I was in the phrase of phrase, excuse me, phase of knitting everything that's colored periwinkle, and I literally thought that this color was periwinkle when I um, used it, but it actually was purple because I couldn't tell if it the difference between purple and periwinkle at the same time. I don't know. They kind of look the same to me, but now I realize that periwinkle is more... Daisy's barking again, sorry. Um, more um, of a blue-toned purple than um, this color. So this is um, grape. It's like a kind of a blue, almost a... I think a little bit... I don't know how to describe it. It's like kind of like a bluey-toned purple into me. Me, even though periwinkle is more blue, I literally thought this was periwinkle when I bought it. I didn't look at the label when I bought it. Number, um, but I really like it. I like it that's like a purpley blue tone. It's really pretty. Number six on my list would have to be country blue. So this is what country blue looks like. It's just a really dark um, blue. I've actually used this a few times when it came to knitting. I have used it several times and I really like working with Karen with this stuff. It's really fun to knit with. <sighs> it's like literally one of my favorite yarns of all time. I really enjoy this color because I like the dark bluey tone you get from it and it is just really awesome. Number seven on my list would have to be mango. Not the fruit mango, mango's the color of the yarn. This is what mango kind of looks like. It's like a nice, soft, um, yellowy toned orange, and I really like that. I like that it's kind of that it's kind of bright, and you kind of can see what you're doing with it, and it's like really fun to work with. I just love nice bright colors. Number eight on my list would have to be watermelon.
I really like this kind of because it kind of reminds me of hot pink and I think I've actually knitted with this color before because um as I think I used it for um it's a nice bright pink which I really like and I love bright pink bright pink's like my favorite color and I think I've used it for like my mittens before when I was knitting mittens and they all turned out really weird <laughs> Weird, and I really um, had some. I really just had fun knitting with this color because I like the nice brightness you get from it. It's really cool, and it makes it easy to see your stitches. Number nine on my list would have to be red. I really like this. It's a nice bright red. I actually knitted with this color. I knitted my bell hooded scarf with this color. Color and I really enjoyed like the softness you get and the tone of red you get from this color. It's really cool. Cool and it kind of reminds me of the color of Belle's hood from Beauty and the Beast. Wow this video is getting really long. long. I'm really sorry. Right, and number 10 on my list would have to be black. Black, this is my last one, I swear, I, I promise. So this is what black looks like. I really like this color because it kind of reminds me of licorice because it's soft and shiny. And even though black is like a hard color to work with sometimes when you're knitting, I still really enjoy the working with it because I really think it's like a fun color to work with because even though black's like one of, actually fun fact, black is one color I run out of a lot in knitting. knitting. A bunch of people want things that are black and black, black hats, black scarves, black blah 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 blah, black mittens, blah 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 blah, and I simply run out of black a lot of the time because it's like a popular color for my knitting business because a lot of people like it. I really like it because it's a soft, nice soft black and it's really enjoyable to work with and it's super duper soft. Okay, so those are my top 10 yarns by Karen Simply Soft. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!